Hi folks, it's William with Lodestone, here once again with another quick tip for you. Now today's quick tip comes to us from Adobe InDesign. So here I have a sample page of a parts catalog. Now I'm just getting started with this and so I'm trying to uh, go ahead and set up some of my styles. And one of the styles that I'm going to use is an object style to format all of my product images. So this is, say, a part catalog, and so typically though, all those images are roughly the same size and the same decoration. It gives us that continuity that our customers are looking for. Makes it easier to search the catalog. So what I want to do is I want to zoom in up here at this little frame that I'm using as my image placeholder. Now, I think we're ready to go. I've got all of my properties set up for my empty graphics frame here. Let's go ahead and convert this into an object style. So with the object still selected, I'm going to go to the window menu, down to styles, object styles. Next, I'm going to create a new object style. So right here in the panel menu, new object style. I'll go ahead and give this a name. I'll just call it product image. And I want to make sure apply style to selection is turned on. But one extra thing that I need to look for. If this were a text frame, okay, I would want to make sure that the paragraph styles option is checked here under the basic attributes. You can see right now mine has a minus sign in it. So if I click it, it'll put a check mark in it. That way, if there is a paragraph style associated with this particular frame, any text inside of it, well, it'll capture that. But it's only going to capture the first paragraph style applied. In this case, there isn't one, so it doesn't really matter whether it's checked or unchecked. Now, one thing that does matter is this, frame fitting options. Once again, I see a minus sign here. What this is telling me is that it's going to ignore the frame fitting options. It's not going to apply them, it's not going to remove them. So I wanna make sure to check that so it will capture and apply frame fitting options. With that checked, I'll click OK. And now I have a new object style. Well, let's see how this works. So if I create a new graphic frame and I let's say wanted to make sure it was the same size as the first one okay well I could do that I could come up here to the top I know the width on this is one inch and the height is 1.25 inches and that makes it exactly the same dimensions as this previous one now if I click on the product image in the object styles to apply that style you can see well it's starting to look like the previous image the last thing I want to do is go ahead and convert this into an inline object now how do I do that well it's really simple I'm gonna go over here grab the regular selection tool when I do the object is gonna have two extra handles on it a yellow one and a blue one I'm gonna mouse over the blue one it says drag in the text to create an anchored object or shift drag to make it an inline object so I'm going to hold down the shift key as I drag this blue box and I'm going to put it right here in front of my item. And there you have it. It is an inline object and it is ready to go. So that's it. Using your object styles to very quickly and efficiently format things like images in a parts catalog. Well, that's it for today's quick tip. If you want to learn more about InDesign and some of the other Adobe products, as well as a wide variety of e-learning topics, be sure to check us out on the web at lodestone.com.